Just on behalf of Charles Benny School, I'd like to welcome you here today for today's presentation of this scholarship. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's an honor, it's a pleasure to get called up with some folks who support this and others who can't be here that do as well support it. We couldn't do this without them, obviously. They have the opportunity to bless uh, a, a young person who's earned that right, so to speak, or that scholarship because of their hard work and what they put into school. And so we have some past winners here as well, all top-notch quality individuals as well as the one receiving it today. So without further ado, I'm going to pray and then uh, we'll get started. Father, we're thankful for this day, the beautiful weather you've blessed us with, Lord, and uh, thank you for each family represented here. Whether everyone could be here or not, we just pray that you have a blessing upon them. Thank you for the donors who support Finney in so many different ways. And events like this could not happen if we did not have their support. So we're grateful for them. Bless this time together in your son's name. Amen. 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 I'd like to introduce our principal of our pre-K through eighth grade, Yvonne Paganelli. I would like to take the time to thank you donors especially. Um, this is something dear to my heart because I actually was Claudia's principal. So I had the opportunity to work with her. And for those of you who do not know Claudia, she was a remarkable woman, just remarkable. Had a real heart for the Lord and really loved her students. And when it, the tragedy happened, she took it very well. She was a hero in everybody's eyes, the way she approached things. I mean, I used to look at her, admire her so much, how she would go about day by day in trying to live that way. And when we lost her, I remember very well standing up and we were all giving a kind of a testimony for her. It was like having lost a sister. So it, it hit me hard. I still have her picture in my office. I have her picture in my home because she was such a role model for me. Great. So this is dear to my heart, the scholarship, and helping one of our, our students. So I thank you tremendously for, for being a part of this and coming out here today as well. Um, so for those of you who didn't know Claudia, you really missed a great teacher, trust mm -hmm. me. She was one of a kind. But I know she's in a better place. I know I will get to see her someday and we will all meet together and rejoice in the Lord again. So thank you again for coming. I want to know, uh, make note of our other committee members who cannot be here today. Uh, first of all, Claudia's parents, Ken and Hetty Shadel, uh, they were all set. They were signed up six months ago. And uh, so there was a travel restriction put on, on them so they could not make it, but we are recording uh, this whole uh, ceremony for them as well. And also Charles and, and Sue Picard, they had to be out of town. And so we have a committee of, uh, well, technically there's four, but we count all the spouses, so it's like <laughs> seven or eight. So, but yeah, so, so uh, thanks again, Croft and Sue, for being here, representing the committee and your great love for, for Claudia. I'm going to talk about Claudia's virtues and the first one here, first of all, also, let me say thank you for all of you who come. Sharon uh, Langford brought Dylan. He's an Upman scholar. And uh, we also have guests here, the, the, the Mushet family. And the mom, Jan, is here from Ohio. So this is, this is really great. All right, so servant's heart is the first virtue. And Jesus said, I did not come to be served, but to serve. Scripture also says that we should consider others better than ourselves. And so I've reflected on this a lot. It's the actual theme verse for Project Compassion here at the school. And to me, this, this means when I talk about uh, I did not come to serve, I mean to be served, but to serve, and considering others betters, better than ourselves, to me, this means that the only way that we can fulfill God's love, I mean, God's will for our life, is by loving and serving others and loving and serving God. That's the only pathway. So, servant's heart. 
Second virtue is caring. The word care comes from an old English word which is sorrow, anxiety, or grief. Isn't it interesting? Because we usually think the word care is the opposite of that, but the word care is actually based on the problem. It's, it's, it's interesting, a very powerful uh, thought here. And so to be caring is to come alongside and to share uh, the burdens that they're suffering with and also to walk alongside them. That's what it means to care. To care means you have to have some sense of feeling, you know? It's one thing to see someone in need. It's another thing to feel that need, but it's another thing to do something. <coughs> and that's, that's where we go. <coughs> now, another word, uh, another virtue of Claudia is supportive, which goes along with caring, but it is different. The, the word means to aid, to hold up, or to carry someone who has fallen. Great, great image there, right? And to care for them. So if we, if we come alongside people, we don't just stand next to them. We've got to pick them up and try to help them. And of course, we can't help but think of this parable of the Good Samaritan here, right? In these days and times, the Samaritans who were hated by the Jews, or by most of the Jews, the Samaritan man becomes a hero of the faith. Perseverance, the will and ability to endure, to never give up because God never gives up on us. Perseverance. And the last is the love of learning. This amazing verse in the Gospel of Luke says this, Jesus continued to grow and become strong, increasing in wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. So we see here, even Jesus as a child is learning wisdom, even though he's God on the earth, it's the dynamic there that's going on, and the grace of God is upon him. So the grace of God is on all of us. It doesn't matter who you are. God's grace is always there for every person. And, but it's a virtue when you actually take advantage of it. That becomes a virtue then. Okay? And so uh, at this time, I would like to announce our Uffman scholar, our new Uffman scholar. We're really ex excited. And that is Bethany. Mashit, can you come up here, please, Bethany? Yay. I want to give you something, Bethany, here. And this is going to be something in uh, the plaque that has the virtues on it. Here you are. And don't leave because we're going to get some photos. Congratulations, Bethany. I want you to know that this selection was made by your teachers and Mrs. Paganelli. Wow. And this is a tremendous <laughs> honor when Ooh. these virtues that Claudia have are reflected in you. Congratulations, Bethany. <laughs> Normally we take photos there, but it's a whole new world. I'm calling up uh, Mrs. Susan Scanlon now to talk about um, Claudia. So much has been said today about Claudia with which my husband Croft and I uh, absolutely agree. And then one of the great things about this scholarship is the opportunity to reflect and remember her specifically at certain times of the year. Uh, we're glad for that. We first met uh, Claudia when she and her husband, who was our pastor, came to Rochester from out of state. And she had brought with her many years of teaching experience, which she threw that experience immediately into our Sunday school and began looking for opportunities to teach here in the Rochester region. And we take a little bit of pride in the fact that we introduced her to Finney. And once there was an opening here, that was a match which we felt was made in heaven between Claudia and this school. She loved God, she loved her family, and she loved her Finney students and her fellow faculty members. Um, I remember that memorial service, memorial evening for Claudia when members of the faculty from the school got up and spoke and some of her students. And I was just about knocked out because Claudia had not been here many years. But the way that her fellow faculty and her students spoke about her, you would 
would have thought she was a 30-year tenured teacher. The feelings were so strong and the admiration was so great. And her love for the school was so great that even after receiving a terrible medical diagnosis and going through terribly difficult treatments, she kept teaching with all her energy right up to the too soon end of her life. She will always be remembered from those, by those who knew her and thanks to this scholarship, she will be remembered for a long time. Congratulations. Thank you.